This is a real competition, and the possible prize of helping to prepare a birthday meal for the Queen would be a tremendous honour for either man. They may both run prestigious restaurants, but that's irrelevant here. It's a totally different ball game, cooking in a restaurant spontaneously. Like, I, 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 could, I would consider myself quite a mature, confident cook, you know? But it's funny, when you have to put it on the line, you, you know the one, what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe I got the, maybe you got the first course, maybe I got the second course. Quite possible. Hi guys. Confident? Hi, you know, it's, it's going well. It's, it's going, going well. well. we're about neck and neck. Neck and neck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would say, I would say we're yeah. neck and neck, yeah. Oh, all to play for, all I can't wait. For, all to play <laughs> So we need to get on with Richard's venison wellington. And I don't think I have ever seen a finer piece of meat. It's so it's delicious. the best. Uh, it is the best. Very uh, little fat content. And what are you doing to it? it? So I've just rubbed a little bit of juniper berry on. Juniper berry? Juniper berry. Just, you know, get that juniper. Mm. You do not want to serve venison medium right. to well okay. done. It must be medium rare. So what's going to go with your venison then? I'm doing a duck cell of mushroom, a mushroom stuffing around. The really posh touch here is definitely the foie gras that the mushrooms are cooked with. Oh, that looks divine. It is we a Bertie are... party. The mushroom mixture acts as a bed for the meat to lie on before it's all swaddled in cabbage leaves. Richard's putting on a masterly display here, but if Paul is impressed, he certainly isn't going to say so. The last stage of the recipe is to wrap the whole thing in pastry and then bake it in the oven for no more than half an hour. This is going to be quite rich, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Queen Light's rich. Uh, it won't so be. what if it keeps her awake all night and then she's going, oh, I wish I'd had that Paul Rankin's lamb. The Wellington looks and smells wonderful. But in his anxiety not to overcook the venison, has Richard cooked it enough? It's a little bit rare, that said. It could be a fatal error, and this time he's being judged first. Tell him to send it back if it's too rare. Paul's touched a raw nerve, but unlike a restaurant, the judges won't be sending Richard's dish back. If they think it's too rare, they'll simply put the boot into his venison wellington. But you know what, I, mean, I, I think with the venison being this rare, you know, I think venison, when it's cooked rare, is so much better. Mm -hmm. too, not too rare for you? No, this is, honestly, this is, I, 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 I think venison is so much better rare. The more, mm -hmm. the more cooked venison is, the less I sort of, I, I work with it. With it you know? I think quite a lot of people would have it, actually have some problem in eating it quite this. Really? No, still twitching. No, I love it. <laughs> you like it?